Salve, everyone. Salve. Yes, salve is Latin for hello. Good to see everyone. Latin is the dead language that the Romans used and others used back in the good old days of ancient Rome and ancient Greece. But anyways, salve, everyone. Let's have a good time and join the Romans because that's who we're going to study right now. So check out my picture right here. This is a clip or a picture from the movie The Gladiator. Maybe we'll watch some of it. Maybe we'll watch all of it. Everybody participate, cooperate. Don't disrupt, and let's have a good time learning about the Romans. Here's a few pictures for you. You might want to see that it'll be really good. Help us out getting started. Um, check it out. So here is all that Rome will eventually own, all that in the red. It started in that little bitty dot right there, but it ends up ruling all of this area, all the way up to the northern part of England, parts of Africa, parts of the Middle East, yes, all right, if you zoom in, someone's going to zoom in right here, this peninsula, Italy, right there is Rome. This is where it'll start, on that little spot right there. If you get really close to Rome, you see the Colosseum, you see the Tiber River here, and many other things. It's called the Forum. All right, there, there's the Tiber River up close, that river up close. See the bridge right there? There's the Tiber River again. Oh, that's just weird, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so that's a story that we're going to have, you have to know about. Romulus and Remus and the She-Wolf. All right, let's get started. Let's get after this. And all right, have your notes out. Pull them out. Let's go. Have something to write with. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, 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 three. One, 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 one. Two, 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 two. Let's do this. All right, the rise of Rome. Your central question. The first one. How did geography play a role in Rome's origins? That means how did geography play important part of its beginning. So what's that place that Rome is? Where Where is that place? That's right. It's Italy. Italy. I'm telling things wrong already. Italy is an important location in the middle of the Mediterranean region. It is a long, narrow, I said it earlier, it starts with a P. Italy is a what? It's a what? A peninsula. A peninsula. Let me get that last everything. Peninsula. With a distinct shape. It looks like a high-heeled boot. Looks like a big old boot or shoe. That's right. It sure does. Jutting out into a sea. The heel of the boot points toward Greece and the toe toward the island of, what's that island it points toward? The island is called Sicily. The island of Sicily. Let's, let's just check them out real quick again so we, we know what this looks like. Come on, picture. There it is. Here's the boot. See, there's the top of the boot. Here's your heel, the toe. There's Sicily. And this is Greece right here. So, yes, that is the shape of Italy. That's important. All right. So, across the top of the boot are the, what's those mountains up there? The Alps. All right. Mountains that separate Italy from, what does it separate Italy from? From... European, that's the continent, European, European lands to the north. The landscape of Italy is similar to that of the, all right, what's it close to? Similar to the what? Similar to that of Greece. All right, we just got through studying. All right, so the people who settled in, where are we again? We are in Italy, all right? We're not split up into small isolated communities as they were in Greece. It's easier to travel around in, in Italy. In addition, Italy had better, Greece didn't have very good farmland. So the it, Italians have better farmland than Greece. Its mountain slopes level off to large, flat. This is really what, what you need to, to farm a lot. It's like around here. Plains, all right, that are ideal for growing crops with more capacity to produce. All right, what would they be able to produce? More, produce more food. Italy could support more, more food. You have more people than Greece could. Historians know very little about the first people to live in Italy. We don't know a lot about them. There's not a lot of written records. There is evidence, however, that groups from the north slipped through Italy's mountain passes between uh, around 1500 BCE and 1000 BCE. 
attracted by the mild, I means it's pretty nice, nice mild climate and what type of soil? Rich soil, a small but steady stream of newcomers settle in the hills and on the plains. Among these people were a, what were they speaking? What would be the language they were speaking? A, I said it earlier, Salve, a Latin speaking people who built the city of, what's, the, what's our topic? They will build the city of Rome on the plain of Latium in central Italy. All right, so where was Rome located? Geography played a major part in the location of Rome. The site chosen for Rome was about 15 miles in the, you need to know this river, in the Tiber, Tiber with a B, river, from the Mediterranean Sea. The Tiber River gave the Romans a source of, a source of what? A source of water, all right, and a way to the rest of the Mediterranean world. At the same time, Rome was far enough from, I should say, not form, from the sea to escape raids by, who might attack their boats? Pirates. That's right. Arr, the pirates might attack them. In addition, Rome was built on, check this out, seven hills. The Romans did this on purpose. The hills were very uh, steep, making it easy to defend the city against enemy attack. Rome was also located at a place where people could easily across the, what's that river again? The Tiber River. As a result, Rome became a stopping place for people traveling north and south in western Italy and for merchant ships sailing in the western Mediterranean. It became a trading empire. All right, so how did Rome begin? All right, check this out. Different legends describe how Rome began. The traditional story is that twin brothers named Romulus and Remus all right, founded the city. As babies, the boys were abandoned near the, what's that river again? Near the Tiber River, rescued by a wolf. You saw her earlier, a she-wolf. They decided to build a city in 753 BCE. The twins quarreled. That means they argued. However, and Remus made fun of something his brother built. What did his brother build? A wall. His brother was building in fury. All right. Romulus lashed out at Remus. And guess what he did to him? He killed him. He killed his brother. Romulus went on to become the king of our topic, Rome. The new city he named after himself. Historians are sure how are not sure, I should say, are not sure how Rome began. That's just a legend there. They think that Latins lived in the area of Rome as early as 1000 BCE. They built huts on Rome's hills. They tended herds and grew crops. Sometime between, we know this, 800 and 700 years before Jesus, they decided to band together for what would they? Why, why would you come together when you have a lot of danger around you? You come together for protection. All right. It was this community that became known as bum, 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 became known as Rome. So we think maybe the Latin started it. We're not a hundred percent sure. All right. Let's look at these pictures just one more time and see what's going on here. If I can find them, I know they're in here somewhere. Yes. So here's Italy. To start right there. Here is the Tiber River where it will start. Let's find that she wolf again. That creepy she wolf. Where does she go? Oh, there she is. There's that she wolf. We'll, uh, we'll end with this bad boy right here. Um, yeah, so here's the she wolf of Romulus and Remus being saved as they were put in the Tiber River by their family. And this is the legend of how Rome began in the strange and unusual way. All right, guys, you have a good time learning about Rome. There's a lot of great things in here. I know you'll, you'll enjoy it. Get involved. Hopefully, well, I'll show you some pictures of the Colosseum. I had a chance to go there. It was amazing. Maybe you will too. 
And we'll see how Rome became this great empire, went from this little tiny village.